Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be February's haul and February was low by February. It did really, really well until like the last four days in February and I just like bought a whole bunch of stuff at Target. It did actually return probably half of it. So this still counts, right? So it's not a very big haul. It's so small that I'm actually even going to show you the nail polish that I bought in February which usually requires a video of its own that I never do because I'm lazy and ashamed. So if you guys want to see what I bought in February, just keep watching. So the very first thing that I bought was from Nordstrom Rack. I don't have a Nordstrom Rack store very close to me. Uh, the closest one is about 45 minutes away and it's just in an area that I don't really frequent. But I was down in that area for a Michigan Nail Girl meetup and I saw, I mean, I, thought, I was like, well, I'm, I never come down here, I need to stop. <laughs> so I went into Nordstrom Rack and I found the Laura Mercier Art of Color Eye and Cheek Collection and it was on clearance for $14.97. I think it was normally like $55 or something, I'm not sure. And I've never tried anything from Laura Mercier and I've always really wanted to, but not really wanting to spend the money with no experience with the brand. So I thought this was the perfect time. So it comes with a mascara, uh, Volume Supreme Lash Building Mascara in black. I'm not gonna open it because I'm not ready to use it yet. And this Eye and Cheek Palette. It has this like netting on it. And then I'll try not to blind you, but I'm not really sure how I wanna do that. And then a cheek color and then eight eyeshadows. It looks really pretty. I haven't swatched it yet because I know how I do. Ooh. Gunmetal and pink haze. African violet looks lovely. Hold on. It's a little powdery. A little powdery. Oh yeah. This looks like a beautiful color though. I saw a Target cartwheel deal for 50% off the Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil and then I had like a coupon so it ended up being like $9 instead of $25. So I really wanted to try this. I'm just really intrigued by like using facial oils at night right now. So I wanted to try this and for $9 it's better than $25 if I don't like it right now. Then I grabbed a few things from, well actually just one thing, from Sally Beauty Supply. This is the China Glaze Have a Dapper Holiday. And I mainly wanted the black polish, but it was cheaper to buy this set because this was half off the clearance price of $4.99, so it's $2.50. Instead of like $6.90 or whatever it is for a regular China Glaze nail polish. So that's mainly why I bought this. But, you know, I'll give the glitter away to someone have enough gold glitter. Um, the next is like assorted Target drugstore Target Kmart things. Uh, first from Kmart I found the Wet n Wild brushes and they're out of the package because I've used them but this is the blush brush which I believe was I feel like it was like $2.99 or $3.99. All of the brushes as far as I can tell are $5 or under. So affordable. They're so soft. I do like this. I don't really like it for blush because it's pretty floppy. I prefer a more dense blush brush, but I like it for blending together blushes because I've been like sort of layering blushes lately. So I like it for blending them together. It's so soft and I've washed it. It washes fine. I haven't had any shedding. So, so good. So impressed with these. And then the Wet n Wild crease brush. This was 99 cents. This brush is amazing. I love this brush. I, if you can find this brush, get it. It's awesome. It's so soft. Again, it washes up nicely. There's no shedding. I love it. Like I love this brush. I love it. This has been my like go-to crease brush since I bought it. I'm obsessed with this brush. I don't like to say obsessed. Do I say obsessed a lot? I don't know. I don't mean to, if I do. I did find one of the other brushes at, I think Walgreens. And this was, I think this one was also 99 cents. This is the large eyeshadow brush. I just got this one, so I haven't used it yet. But again, it's very soft. 
and they have this little like they have a little I don't know if you can see divot and that's supposed to be where you like rest where you rest your finger and it's perfectly placed and I know that you know research and everything goes into all of this but it's just impressive for a 99 cent brush. A few Kmart things by Kmart finally got a new um, display of Milani stuff, the new Milani products. The Prime Shield Face Primer Mattifying and Pore Minimizing. I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited. Oh, it feels like it's going to be a little bit silicone-y. Yeah, it's sort of like a silicone primer. I'm okay with that. I know some people don't like those, but I, I don't like them. And then I also bought one of the Moisture Lock Rose Hip Oil Infused Lip Treatments. These are okay. I've used it a few times and I know you have to make room for the applicator in here. But once you take the applicator out, hold on. It's like half full. Can you see? It's like half full. I've only used this a few times so I can't say if it's beneficial or, or not, but it smells nice. It isn't uh, too oily feeling, I don't think. It feels like you're wearing a gloss, but not sticky. They also had the new Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors, so I bought two. Uh, they were buying one half off. These were, I think, $2.99. Uh, Rose Macaroon and Raspberry Tart. They smell like... I'm just laughing because I have about a thousand liquid lipsticks this color. I can't help it. They have some like straight up orange. They have a really vibrant purple. But I got these two. So this is Rose Macaroon and Raspberry Tart. Then I also bought one of the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Glosses in the color Lavish. It's this really, really crazy dark purple. I don't know what drew me to this because this isn't typically a gloss that I wear. It smells like grape, which is my favorite flavor of everything, but they are intense. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what I was thinking with that. I think I was thinking it was $1.99. Like, oh. Lastly, I have some things from Target. I bought some nail polish, some of the Sally Hansen Insta Dries for my little girl because she likes having her her Tootsie's painted, she says. So I got the color Leap and Lilac and Set Sail because these dry super quick. And she's two and she doesn't sit still for very long. So there's not a lot of time to paint her nails. The Revlon Blackest Black Dramatic Definition Mascara. This is part of the like beauty deal thing. Like if you spend $20, you got a $5 gift card. So I threw this on and then I also had a cartwheel and a $3 off coupon for this. So it was. I think I basically got this for free. And then some more lip products. This is the CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Balm in Gumdrop. I really like these. I like that they're sheer, but they're really comfortable to wear. And it's just like a nice, super sheer, I mean, that was just like one swipe, uh, wash of color. Okay. Then I bought one of the new Burt's Bees lipsticks in Lily Lake. The packaging is like super lightweight which I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's just interesting. These are sort of sheer, and then you can also build them up. I have so many lip colors like this. Ooh, it smells good too. It smells like, I'm not really sure what it smells like. Does it smell like sweet tarts? Am I wrong? Maybe it smells like sweet tarts. It smells good. And finally, from Sonia Kashuk, this is from the Grand Bazaar, I think it was the Holiday Collection. This is the Crushed Grand Bazaar Crushed Pearl Matte Lipstick, and this was on clearance. And I wanted it when it first came out, but it was like $11. And I was like, I'm not spending $11 on a drugstore lipstick. That's ridiculous. So it was on clearance, and I was like, well, then it was meant to be. Just a, pretty much the same color that I always buy. I'm going to continue with the low buy theme as much as possible. We'll see how it goes. There are definitely some things coming out that I know I want, like the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I know I want it. 
and a few other things so let me know what you guys bought in the month of february because i'm nosy and thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys soon